Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the BDA 2023 question paper uh, pattern as well as what are the most important concepts in BDA so that you can learn those which are most weighted and so that you can score more marks by studying the only relevant concepts and how do we the, uh, remember the concepts in BDA, what is the type of uh, questions that are asked, everything we will be discussing in depth. Make sure you watch this video till the end and uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Without wasting any time, let's get started. The first thing um, what I want to discuss is in BDA, first I will be discussing the uh, question paper pattern and what makes someone score more in BDA. There are some uh, concepts and the tricks and the patterns which you need to keep in mind so that you can score more in BDA. How do you uh, arrange your answers? Those things I will be discussing. Okay. So what is the question paper pattern of uh, Jan 2023 based on the previous year uh, question papers? The first type of questions that could you could be asked is what is type of questions? You will be given with a concept and you need to define what is that concept and what are its features, characteristics, advantages disadvantages this could carry four to six marks okay so for all the features characteristics advantages disadvantages you need to remember a few key points which I'll be discussing in the super important uh, videos module wise what are the common features in each of these you have to remember so that you can write it for every answer okay you need not memorize it separately because if you observe all the answers you will be having something in common that only you have to remember it's very hard to remember all of those it's very hard because there is a lot of content and what is type of question you need to just know what is that concept and write the definition in your own words you can easily score four to six marks next type of question we have is the architecture type of question many architectures are there i'll be making a video in which i'll be discussing all the architectures what all you need to keep in mind how to draw the architectures and what consists of more marks what all you need to mention how do you remember the architectures it consists of eight to ten marks very important question from exam point of view third type of question can be expressed the process workflow and the steps like how does this thing work what are the steps to be followed what is the uh, map reduce uh, workflow what are the process in maps uh, map reduce how does hive workflow work all those questions i'll be discussing in depth with along with the diagrams so make sure don't miss it's 8 to 10 marks after that we have the applications of where does these things are applied what are the case studies in big data all the important application case studies i'll be discussing this carries 6 to 10 marks and finally we have the um uh, questions like commands and tools you need to remember a few commands so what are the patterns in the commands all those things i'll be discussing so that you can remember and apply it for all the questions so these are the five types of questions that could be asked and uh, now let's move on to what is the uh, sequence of uh, modules you should follow okay what did you observe is that the most weightage question types were architecture type questions 8 to 10 marks like these architecture type questions second is the workflow and the steps type of questions you will be getting marks for that and applications okay these things are uh, the most most weighted ones like typical uses of key value store you need to know where all these things are used so if you know the thing you first need to ask yourself if this thing exists where this is applicable okay those things are very much important so uh, i'll be discussing all of this in depth in the past packages so let's move on what is the best sequence of modules that you can follow what best sequence of modules means what which is the first module you should start which is the last module what are the important concepts in the module i'll be giving a brief overview make sure you know these points very well because if you don't know this you'll be ending up spending a lot of time in a particular module and losing up marks you have to study only those things which i will be telling you to study that will be uh, more relevant and helpful for you okay what are the type of questions module wise let's have a look the first module is the most weighted module why it is most weighted module is because it has a lot of concepts and each of those concepts is heavily marked okay means you'll be getting a lot of marks if you answer those questions so the first type is what is questions you'll be having a lot of what is questions because it is basically the introduction right then we have the architecture type of question file layer uh, architecture is there in the module one very important question for example the group next we have the big data application and case studies super important question let's um We'll be discussing in on each of these questions in depth so stay tuned the second module is the most expected module why because in second module you have three categories what are the th uh, three categories introduction to hadoop what is an architecture and map reduce these are the things which is there in the introduction to hadoop uh, uh, chapter this consists of 8 to 10 marks this is the most easiest module and you can easily score more marks in this by memorizing this one and the first module you have to start is module 2 as well i'll discuss the entire sequence and how do you need to go from one module to another in the uh, upcoming part of this video hdf is the second chapter here you have 50 percent of chance of getting asked because it's a quite uh, boring topic and no no much questions are asked from here but i'll be discussing what are the key points you need to keep in mind in case if any question is asked and you don't know the answer how do you answer it next we have the tools ecosystem tools eight tools at least you need to remember i'll be discussing our trick for that how do you need to remember for that 
uh, that consists of four to eight, uh, four to six marks. Going on, you have the third uh, module, which is the longest module. You have to cover this at the last. Okay, third module is the longest module because it has no SQL. Many features are there. Many things are there. MongoDB and Cassandra DB is the last topic, but it has very uh, depth of information. You need to keep in mind. And what are the tricks you need to use for uh, making this long module the shortest module? And the first type of question is what is type of question? Then we have the SN architectures, the shared nothing architecture, eight to ten marks, super important question. It has some features as well. Then we have Mongo and Cassandra. For both of these, what are the similarities you need to keep in mind? You need to know what it is, commands and tool, advantage, disadvantage, characteristics, where it is applied. I'll be discussing all this with the shortcut tricks. Stay tuned. Easiest module is the fourth module. You have to start from the fourth module because in the fourth module you have MapReduce, process and workflow. Very simple. Some steps are there. Only steps you have to remember by remembering the diagram and a particular example. That example and diagram, I'll show you one trick. How do you remember it easily? You can easily score it to 10 marks. In Hive and Pig, both we have the what is architecture work to application tools. These are sequence of things you need to follow. A pattern is there. You need to uh, keep in mind just that you'll be easily able to get the eight to ten marks from that. Next, we have the five fifth module. If you are a person who is uh, liking more theory and able to memorize the theory concepts very well, fifth module is for you because there we have the machine learning what is and one algorithm which is a priori algorithm. Very important question. It could be asked from eight to ten marks, it, uh, and they could also ask you to solve it. So it's very simple one. If you have to read data mining in the uh, previous semester if even even if not i'll tell you what's the super trick you can easily memorize now also then we have the text web and social what, what is the text media what is the web media what is the social media advantage disadvantage categories all the things we have uh, particular diagrams you need to keep in mind what are the super important uh, concepts in that and the tricks I, everything i'll be discussing in the module 5 so that's all uh, let's have a look at the best sequence and you can get started module 2 the most expected one you have to uh, start first then you have to go for the module 4 which is the least content is there after you have done that, go for the module 5, all the theory concepts you have done. Now we are left with two modules, module 1 and module 3, which are the longest and the most weighted modules. Most weighted we will be preferring because we want marks, right? So we'll be going for the module 1 and we'll be completing this. And finally, we'll be going to the module 3, which is the longest module. Okay. Finally, you have to do a quick revision. For that, I'll make another video in which you, if you just uh, watch all the videos which I make and then you uh revise that by using the last uh, video it will be very uh, well fit in your brain what all you need to write in the exam how do you need to write an exam so time is very less so make sure don't waste your time watch all the videos which i upload remember the key points in the way i tell like uh, by using the super important key concepts and all and the tricks and all and finally draw the architecture by your head just don't see the video drawing is important because in the exam you need to keep in mind how do you need to draw that if you draw only that will be staying in your mind so that's all make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful and want more videos like this thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one